The following podcast contains strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome. My name is Craft Ginger and this is Roll for Discussion, a small podcast where myself and a few others will delve into the multiple topics around the popular game of Dungeons and Dragons. If you have any thoughts, opinions about what has been discussed or topics that you want us to cover, then feel free to post them down below in the comments section. If you enjoy this content, please leave us a like and smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more. In tonight's session, we discuss the one shot. This is Roll for Discussion. Joining me in tonight's session, we have the following players. We have Peter. Hiya. And we have Rumple. Hello. Guys, uh, so, one shots. I thought we could, uh, doesn't have to be anything too specific about one shots. I just thought we could just have a little bit of a chat about them. You know, what we like about them, what we don't like about them. How they sort of compare to, like, a campaign. You know, pros and cons. You know, that sort of thing. Um... I think I'll start us off. So I I really enjoy a one shot. I I, I don't get me wrong. I I love campaigns, but there's something worth describing what one shots are to the viewers who may not know. You know what? That's that's an excellent point from my rules lawyer there. Um, <laughs> in which that's point? That's me. Yep. Yeah, you know what, Pete? By all means, sir, go ahead. Tell the audience what is a one shot. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's pretty much in the name, but yeah, uh, one shot is it's basically you're doing a isolated session. Like it, it does not there isn't it doesn't continue. It doesn't have a previous. It's just a, a one one shot one session of doing whatever it is. And you know you could do multiple one shots over a certain time, but yeah, it's it's one thing on its own. It's a self contained story. Yeah. Oh, nicely, nicely put there. Although I guess if you did it in multiple sessions, you it'd no longer be a one shot, would it? You know. Uh, like a... I mean, I was thinking more like you can do a one shot, and then we're like, hey, we're going to take those group and do a completely other one shot. So I and do like that those same players. So, so it's without the overarching theme where everything is tied up in a nice little bow at the end of the session. But I guess arguably that's just the campaign. Everything being t- although you might not necessarily tie everything up in regular campaigns. No, that is, that is very true. Yeah, so, so getting back to my original point, I, so like I said, I really do enjoy a campaign, but there's 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 just something about a one shot. The fact that it is all contained within a single session, um, you don't have to get very much bogged down in people's backstories. You don't have to work so much on like a character arc. I mean, unless you are just so, <laughs> you're just like so good that somehow you could get an entire character arc in like a, a four or five hour session. Um, but I just think like it's, it's a pretty, you got a pretty good, it could be like a pretty straightforward story, pretty straightforward like plot hook. And yeah, I think it's just something a bit like quite oddly satisfying, you know, just like just to have like a, a just to have a single day. You don't have to like, you know, like you obviously when you go a campaign, you go, get everyone together for your session zero go over those bits then you got to get everyone together again and if you're doing it with a particularly large group or you've got people that are not available that often you've always got that continuous struggle of trying to get everyone together whereas with a one shot you've only got to get them together like for the for the session zero just to go over the, the character creation the general sort of idea and then you only got to get them all together one more time to actually do that one shot okay and I quite, yeah, I quite like I quite like also because you can all get it done in a single session if you've got there's a group of you 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 can take it in turns you know so you could have one person they'd be in the DM for a one shot and say you all want to do another one like that you know you could all meet up again a couple of weeks a month or whatever and someone else could take over from it so there could be a little bit more rotation so you don't have that whole of uh, that whole thing where you it's like you know the phrase forever DM when you get someone who is just who never gets a chance to be a player. No, yeah, definitely. Um, I think I think my favourite thing about one shots is because I'm 
I'm that guy who does like a lot of reading the books, obviously I'm from his lawyer, but I I <laughs> get tons and tons of character ideas. Like every time I read a class or a subclass, I'm like, oh, oh that's what I do with that, and oh that's how I'd want to do that, and oh that that race, that class, that subclass, or oh those features seem really cool. So I'm constantly like, hey, I wanna do seven, eight different characters. And then when my friend's like, hey, I'm gonna do a campaign. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. But then like three days later, I'm like, oh yeah, but what if I want to do this character? Which one do I want to commit to? Well, one shots are really good because I can have the opportunity to try out if it's seven different one shots. I get to try seven different characters. Um, so that's you know, I just I I and then I can figure out which one I like and maybe settle on that for a campaign. So I, I think that's 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 one of the things I really like about one shots. Yeah, it's not actually. That's actually a, a pretty cool way to look at it because I guess yeah, when if you're you're going into a campaign, if you don't have access to many different campaigns, or you, you know, more maybe more realistically, you're not going to have the time to do many campaigns. You are until unless your character gets killed off, you are stuck with the one that you have created. And you might find that after a couple of sessions, you know, the character's okay, but now you're thinking of an idea or something else. And, but you don't necessarily want to kill that character off. So by getting involved in a few one shots, you get to do have that bit of experimentation, sort of probably maybe find something that actually might, uh, maybe at first s sounded good on paper, and then you go and play it and you're just like, okay, that was the worst decision I ever made. I'm so glad it was only in a one shot. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's also like, you know, I've, I've been in campaigns where people are like, oh yeah, I want to try this class. And then, they choose their stats and they choose their backgrounds and they you know pick certain feats or whatever and then they're like oh this doesn't work i've <laughs> oops i i went monk and put everything into strength because i didn't read the abilities and and now i have no ac uh, so it's like it's it's an opportunity as well for people who maybe don't know the game as well to test it out yeah. have they got a one shot and it means they don't have to commit to a campaign to actually try D&D. &D. Exactly. So it's, a re it's a really cool introduction. I think build off that as well, not just testing characters, but testing what kind of campaign you want to be in. Because hmm. with a one-shot, you could go much more. You could go, you could have a serious one-shot, a comedy one-shot, a mix of the two. You could have all different kinds of games and settings and whatever you can find out that actually for a long game i'd actually want to be in this kind of thing or maybe i don't want a uber serious one or you know a funny one's not for me i want it to be a bit more gritty or i want yeah. the combat to be really difficult or i want the role play to be more of a key focus than the combat and a one shot gives you a chance to kind of see what aspects of the game you enjoy more than almost more than what character you want to play yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that is, again, that's a, that's a really good point because, I mean, I, I quite like the idea of getting in. I, I, could, I could see it almost that I'd, I'd very much like to get into like a very serious campaign, but I'd probably feel at some point like I'd like a bit of comedy in this to sort of lighten the mood, but it's just like it's never going to happen. And then on the, on the flip of that is like it'll be going into a bit of a funny, silly campaign. And after a while, you kind of go, I wish this would get a bit more serious, you know? So yeah, a good a good way to sort of um, uh, get a bit of a variety and sort of yeah again just a bit of experimentation to try to see what that sort of fits what it what it is that you like particularly like and I was just thinking more about when um, you you're trying to like mix the, the the classes up and you just got someone there who's just like all right I've combined barbarian and uh, wizard what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, that's that's a painful concept. To think about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's all... <laughs> if anyone's actually tried Barbarian Wizard, please let us know in the comments how that went. I'd be very interested. <laughs> Imagine strapping your spellbook to a great axe, so as you swing it, you can rattle off spells. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You just, it's literally just your spellbook attached to a stick, and it just does bludgeoning damage instead of slashing damage. <laughs> and counts as a magical weapon. Classic, yep. done. Nailed nice. it. It'd be quite interesting if you you're up a few levels and you get like the multi attacks. You start off cast the cast the spells, then go into a raid. So you, I don't know. I can't. I remember. I don't know what any of the spells or wizards do really. Um, but if there, is there one? Is there a spell that you can like immobilize someone? I, I I I I'm gonna I'm gonna rules lawyer you. Um, sorry, but 
uh, if you're raging, you can't concentrate on a spell, and whole ah. person is a concentration spell. Ah. That's ah. that's why that's why it doesn't work because like Wait, wizards really enjoy out. that sort of. Okay, continue, continue. Hear me All out. Right, I'll lie. Is is there a spell in wizards where it doesn't require concentra concentration, but it will do something like slow the enemy down, uh, or hold them, or freeze them? You know, I don't know, cut their speed in half or to zero that doesn't require concentration. Off the top um, of my head, no. Then not, my idea not, is what? fucked. <laughs> not in. <laughs> I think. I think there there are probably ways to do it. Like, oh yeah, like they make a saving throw if they fail, they're slow for a turn or whatever. But, but nothing in like a consistent a way that would consistently make it work. I just. I, just I don't thinking... think. I don't think you can even. I might have to check this, but I'm not sure you can even cast spells while raging. No, no, you can't when you rage it. But what, what my thought was was that first what, you cast, cast spell, the spell then rage, then rage. So like the idea is is like ah throws them in spot go into a rage now Gandalf is suddenly looking jacked and then he comes <laughs> in with his great axe and it's just like yeah you ain't moving motherfucker and then bang okay. bang bang okay so, I've got it I've got it I've got it I've, I've actually got it go on I think I'm, no all right I've got I had two ideas one of them isn't gonna work I've just realised but one might <laughs> you, cast, you cast message and make them think that someone's yelling at them from behind them so they turn around and by the time they've turned back around you're raging and square and square up at their face oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes that would definitely work yes 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 the other, the other thing now roy's Roy's lawyer in the room <laughs> now a familiar can cast spells with a range of touch can they concentrate on spells no, it's, it's, still, it's, it's, it's still you. It's still you casting. It's just you can cast through them. Ah, damn! I was thinking if you familiar could cast. One of one of these days. Oh no! There, there is there's a there's a thing. There's um there's um an artificer ability which you put a spell in like an object and then someone can activate that object and they count as channeling the spell. That's mm. a thing. Um, they and they count as concentrating, so that works really well with like fighters because you can cast it yourself, give it to the fighter to activate, and then because they don't concentrate on anything else, they can just concentrate on that. And their constitution's really good as well, so they are unlikely to lose concentration. But um, you know, there's 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 also just the Blade Singer Wizard subclass. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I'm just, I, I'm just fun. Fun. yeah, no, exactly, exactly. That's, actually, not, I, that's I, not as fun as as, as buffed Gandalf. Okay, I love the Blade Singer subclass because you're like, haha, I have 30 AC. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm, I'm a wizard and I cannot be hit. The moment it's like a saving throw, you're completely screwed. But, you know, it all like. But yeah, if, if it's they try to hit you, then yeah, you're just like, I, I can't be hit unless you crit. In which case, I'm still made of paper, but oh. yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna post this out to the viewers or listeners, or whatever, where however you're uh, catching this uh, podcast. Um, what sort of combinations do you think you would look for uh, if you tried to combine uh, magic and melee? Was it melee? Was it melee? 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 I, I, that's one I've never really known. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You go pow pow with with a book, or go bang bang with a, a gun, or, or slash slash with a sword. Like, make, yeah, combine the two, viewers. Go. Let us know in the comments section. Have you done it? What do you think about it? Moving on. <laughs> Buy it in a one shot. See how it goes. Ah, one shot. That's what we were talking about. Looping Fantastic. it back around. Bringing it back. Nice one, <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> is that just? Is that it? Is that my name now? It's not going to be. That's uh, it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change your image. Oh no, you've already got the suit in the image. Oh, you're perfect. Yeah, of course I have. Right. I'm basically, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> this guy came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you, what do you think would be considered cons then for, um, for a one shot? I player deaths. If a player dies you're basically just out like yeah. it's it is a lot unless unless you're obviously going and we've just got a brand new player with a brand new character sheet but in that case death has no sort of 
disadvantage because you're you're not invest you you don't get invested in the character because you've got them for like a few hours at most. So yeah. d death and replacing just it doesn't seem like a big deal. So yeah, I think being I think most of the time if you're killed in the one shot, that's basically you out of the one shot, and that becomes I think that's the downside is it's a real shame, especially if you die quite early on, to just be like unless unless the DM's like. They're gonna walk into a tavern in like an hour. I know we don't like taverns, but yeah, they're gonna go into a tavern in an hour. If you've got a character sheet prepared by then, you can join again. But it's you know, it's that's that's one of the downsides I see in the kind I, of like. Yeah. I guess you would sort of it would end up if you if you did have that worry that you any of your characters could could die too early on, you kind of end up forcing someone to possibly take the role of a cleric, then, wouldn't you? Really? Quite possibly, like, yeah. And if no one in your group really wants to take it, then. Then you'd have obviously a bit of an issue. But, so I, I guess, then I you've guess also got a. Sorry? Yeah, go. No, go, you go, yeah, you go. got. You've also got to think about resources. Like what, what resources, especially for spellcasters, where that that some of their spells require you to use up materials. Like, it's something. For, yeah, it's something for the DM to decide at the start. I guess how many, for example, in that that situation, revivify. How many diamonds does your cleric have? Do, do they have enough to cast it once, twice, um, and at what point? Does that Three kind times of, if, a healer. Yeah, if, if they can cast it 20 times and you get four long rests in a one shot, like, yeah, but. Yeah, that's a, a fair shot. I think as well, just build, like, building off that, if you're a new DM and every, like, you read a lot of stuff and it says for new DMs, do one shots first, but I, I didn't even think about what Pete just said and I just thought that it makes balancing encounters so much more important you don't want your first encounter as a first dm in your first one shot to end with a player death when <laughs> you've got a three four hour session plan you're like where do i go from here <laughs> just because you slightly unbalanced it because you don't quite know what you're doing <laughs> i would recommend first time players be the players and then an experienced dm dm the one shot and you should really only i mean i feel like dming one shots is probably harder than dming a a full campaign to a point because you, you've got to work out how to wrap it all up in one session well and how to how to balance it like you said like if a player dies it becomes a much bigger deal so balancing hmm. becomes much more important we're in a long campaign if you die you're like i'll have a new character next session like and i can get back involved in the campaign but can't True. do that in one shot i will, well, I will so campaign yeah. books to bring in like yeah, a cleric of church that you the time may have met along the way you could always bring them back maybe even if the characters don't have revivify some the dm could create an npc that would yeah yeah which is easier in a campaign when you have the, those relationships preset yeah true um i will say though on the point of uh, where it's easier my the first thing i ever dm'd was a one shot um i homebrewed one I called it uh, Noxious Moon, and the the whole thing lasted about say about six hours, I think it was in the end. And it, yeah, it worked out. And I think I think the reason why I decided to do it as a do a one shot instead of going straight into a, a campaign was because I thought it I found it easier the, the, the just the concept in mind that I, I've got a start, a middle and an end and then like some filler in between and some possible sort of routes that they might take and then I found ways that would help lead it back to where it was going and I yeah. I, I think that I think me I mean me personally I, I found the process um, I, found, I found it much easier now there obviously there was that concern that the players couldn't end up dying and we did just so happen to have someone who was going multi-class and and Half of the half of the class was uh, cleric, so they did have that option for revivifying. Um, but even so, they were still being like cautious because no, none of them wanted to die. Yeah, but yeah, I, I would say I guess it's it's just one of those things, isn't it? It just sort of depends. It depends on on, on people. Some people might feel more comfortable with um, starting out as. Uh, uh, like with campaign, I, I would say that if you're your first time DM, I, I mean, me personally, I would say 100% um, for me, uh, starting out as uh, doing a one shot, I found it was just much easier. It, it was a good bit of practice 
um, just so because like with a campaign because of how how long it could potentially go on for there's a lot I found that there's a lot more to consider and it, go, it definitely goes at a slower pace so you've got plenty of time between sessions like to get yourself all ready but uh, I, I would have thought one of the um, definitely play a def is uh, is definitely can be a con if if you don't have uh, if you don't have a cleric, the resources thing I thought was a was a good point as well, because like it's 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 like how much like how much do you actually want to supply? I, I, a lot of it I guess is going to come down to the so what the story is and like the setup. Mm -hmm. but you wouldn't like ha I I have no idea where I'm trying to go with this. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I wonder if we could do that with life. <laughs> just what? Press backspace twice. Go back twenty seconds in time. Just like that's oh, all good. Nothing happened. You've got no proof. <laughs> Can you think of any other uh, any other sort of pros or cons? Come to mind. Well, there's got to be loads, man. I think the, the variation. That anyone, wait, not sorry. Let me reword that. Mm -hmm. it, it's similar to the point I made earlier, but the variation of one shots, not just in tone, but of settings. Like I was looking at some for games, and there's stuff that I didn't even think about, like um, where you can have like the whole party as goblins, and you have a little goblin one shot where they all go and do crazy messed up stuff, and it's like. I never would have thought of that because you always think typical party set up of a, a human, an elf, a dwarf, a gnome, or whatever. But you could have this chaotic little party of goblins that goes off and does a little goblin story for a few hours, which I thought I thought that was brilliant. Like hmm. I never thought of doing that. And then I've read about one that's the entire party is all barbarians, and you're part of like a traveling barbarian clan that gets attacked, and it's a little story of revenge. Like there's little arcs and little ways to mess around with a party dynamic that you can't really do with a long campaign because a long campaign has to you know go on a long time you need the party to be able to function in different areas because you're going to be doing different things you need the cleric to be able to do whatever you need a ranger to be able to get everyone through the woods you need the wizard to be able to decipher the scrolls and the traps and whatever but if you're doing a one shot well that's not going to matter then have a whole party of barbarians that are just going to go start smashing shit up like that's fun and you can't get that in a big campaign no that'd be quite fun actually uh, oh, yeah. it is like you got an entire one the entire party are just bar different barbarians i saw something online once which was like i feel like it was clerics i feel like it must it was either clerics or bards or something because even within their classes they have such a massive range of the things they can do so it was just an entire like party of either one or the other and they all filled in like completely different roles like i think clerics especially are really good at it because you've got like certain subclasses are like completely melee focused with some are spellcaster focused and then you've got ones that are like really tank and really yeah i think so i think that would actually be really funny actually to try like you said like you could do that in one shot so even just the really chaotic random stuff that you might not be able to even think about in a proper campaign because of the, the ramifications but yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty cool yeah i guess, yeah, I, guess I, is, that's, I, could, I, I think it could be a bit of a pro and a con then really because you can you can go quite a little bit more wild because of the whole fact that it is obviously all going to be in one a contained session, you could really, really push the boundaries of what it could potentially do. Because there's not going to be any, like I said, there's no like repercussions, ramifications, or whatever long term. the The downside could be is that it you could end up doing like a couple of hours, like for, or maybe even longer, into this, and it just ends up going nowhere because like the the idea, although it sounded very cool, it's like yeah, let's really try this. And it's like, nope, we've ended up just all becoming murder hobos somehow. That wizard is jacked to shit, but can't do anything. And yeah, the 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 gnome is is dead, and no one can revive him. Well done, everyone. Oh, That's four hours. What a well, shame. Well, well, well wasted. I'm gonna go and throw my D and D book out the window. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is quite a, that's quite a jump to make. <laughs> my one, my my character died in that one campaign. Time to burn everything D and D owns that I have. 
I'm just saying it maybe the DM at the time was just, you know, high or something. Yeah, classic DM. Always <laughs> a possibility. <laughs> no, it's seriously though, um I guess actually it's just more of a, it's more of a pro than a con really, because I mean if it does all if it does all blow up everything, what what's really wasted is it's one session, it's a few hours. You lose more than that watching T V shows that you've probably already watched several times over. They're at me like that, crafty. What the <laughs> <laughs> attacking Pete now. <laughs> yeah, what? Wow, didn't realise I was coming here to be abused. Cool. You didn't read the contract? <laughs> oh. <laughs> rules not. lawyer. Rules lawyer. I, don't what, what I, don't... I was too busy reading D&D books to read the contract. Come on. Yeah, fair. <laughs> One's more enjoyable than the other. Yeah, you just take it to section 6, subsection 2. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you turning pages. <laughs> I, 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 I may have written a, a contract and not got anyone to sign it. <laughs> Real deep into that bit for a second now. <laughs> oh, God. Um, well, Laughable actually was a contract. That'd be the funniest thing. Yeah, one, day, I, one, one day I'll just, I'll just make, I'll, I'll write something up. it would just be, just... Oh, it'll be terrible and glorious <laughs> at the same time. Always the way. Um, That's what we can ask. Speaking of things that are terrible and glorious, uh, either of you got any particular memorable one shots that you've taken part in that were either terrible or glorious? I can be very brief here and say that I've never played one. So oh well, that my that's... first one is on Sunday. <laughs> Well, excellent. Good, good job. Right, uh, that's been really useful. Thanks, Rumpel. Uh, Pete, <laughs> <laughs> see now. Now, my my input is it's questionable because it was actually a campaign that only lasted one session, so I don't know if that counts as a one shot or if that was just a campaign that only lasted one session. You want to be, if you want to be like gentle, you could say it was an unfinished one shot. It was an unfinished one. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was okay, but it was just, it was a lot of people who had, I think it was, it was good because it was people like playing D&D for like the first time, but it was like when I'm about, like when I'm about to go into like a new thing, I'll do a lot of reading, hence the rules lawyer thing, like I'll, I'll, I'll try to get a, a general idea of what I'm doing before I go in for the first time. Like, like, okay, so this is how attacks work, and this is this is what spells do, and that's how all that functions. But it looks like some people just hadn't, hmm. so they kind of just turned up and was like, "So, how does this game work?" And you know, sometimes that's fine, and you know, there are times when you go in, you expect that. But like, it was it was most of the session was just explaining to people what D and D actually was, rather than actually playing, and then. There obviously wasn't a session two, so it was a very long introductory session and not much else. Uh, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Do you do you have a <laughs> uh, do you have a, a positive uh, one shot experience? That is the closest I've I got to. I mean, once again, I've got my first one this Sunday, so we, we'll see how that goes. Oh, right. No. Right, I need to inject some positivity into this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I do have a one shot to discuss that I enjoyed that was not run by me, so good. There we go. Uh, it's the only other one shot I've ever been in um, that I was a player. It was run by uh, one of our fellow players on this podcast, Mr. J. San Pizzaman. And actually, if any viewers out there would like to see how it went, you can. You go over to his channel, Jason Pizza Man. That's all one word. J S A N P I Double Z A M A N. Link in the description. You can go and check it out. Uh, the Tomb of the Pink Dragon, as it were, as it was called. And it was me, him, and his friend uh, Corda. Uh, I believe he has a channel as well, but it's like it's like, it's like, like Corda's Creative Corner. I think I got that right. And yeah, it was just a it was a nice, nice short and sweet campaign. It lasted for about that campaign, nice short and sweet one shot. Lasted for about I think it was about four hours, and that's with like us, you know, faffing around trying to 
get the roles sorted out or like maybe go and have a quick break here or there and um yeah it worked out really fun and a lot of lot of fun a lot of laughs and i was gonna be joining them again uh, at the time of this recording i was going to be joining them uh, for another one tonight however because they are american and they like to torture me they weren't planning on doing it until about two in the morning which would have been about 7 a.m for me so that means i have to get up extremely early on a saturday when i'd like to would have liked to have a line and then they cancelled it so my next uh one shot i'm going off on a tangent now my next one shot is going to be the sunday with these two as well we're all going if uh, you anyone out there is uh, listening or interested or eva or just hi mum you're probably the only one <laughs> um, uh, we are all going into a christmas themed one shot which I'm actually very much excited about. I gotta say, uh, what were you? What about you guys? Uh, this, this, by the way, this will air after we've already done the one shot. So, if it turned out like it was terrible, well, it doesn't matter at this point. So we can sort of go back, like the next time we do a recording, and be like, so, uh, yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing. Or that was the, thing. Or, that was the greatest <laughs> one shot I've ever been involved in. No, seriously though, what, yeah, what are you guys are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, 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 I'm stoked. I have, I have, I'm gonna get to try a new, a new class out. A new that I've never tried before, so I'm, I'm super hyped for that. Um, What's your yeah. class? I know Crafty's playing a bot. Oh, I'm going, I'm going Blood Hunter. I'm going a uh, Werewolf Blood Hunter. Nice. So, well, Order of the Lycan is its type, official subclass name. But yeah, I've, I've, I've wanted to try it for a while, and I, I, this will be a good chance to test it and see how it how it feels in case I ever want to take it into a proper campaign. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a, it's a cool little subclass. And what were you going for, uh, Rumple? Uh, I'll be playing a druid for the first time, which I'm very excited about. Um, Circle of the Moon, so wild shaping left and right, um, smacking things up as a polar bear. So what can go wrong? Oh, polar bear! That's going to be very cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to go with a. I think I'll go with a half elf bard. Um, never played bard before. I've seen. I, I think I've only ever seen Jason actually play as bard. Uh, I find I find the whole idea is uh, is quite fun. I think one of my my main things is that I'm going to break out into a Christmas song, and then halfway through the song i had then stab in the face <laughs> did you did you pick a subclass for that oh nuts i need to do that don't i or I don't think I, did. I guess that's what it's called for the bards no i i don't know i think i did i think i did we for, for <laughs> viewers at home we we already had our session zero uh at the time this recording would have been about a week maybe a little bit longer ago yep set all the characters and everything since then i've been swamped so i haven't had a chance to go back and look at it so that's on me going against my own advice in previous sessions where like you know do research and stuff like that i suck i get it thank you you don't need to tell me in the comments although i'm sure if you will please do mm -hmm. no, one, no one comments on these videos please comment please <laughs> ouch <laughs> <laughs> that's bad dude you're straight up asking for the to abuse you just to, to give, give them love guys don't 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 abuse oh, love. It, love not it, hate co com comments is traction it's it's all good <laughs> i can take the hate i've got a high ac Sh shameless plugin oh wow that is a wow okay. <laughs> <laughs> no but um no, seriously, I'm, I'm really, uh, I am, I am very much looking forward to this. Like, uh, the fact that it's a, a Christmas themed one, you know, it's like, uh, it's, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember what the story is. Like, it's like, is it Santa's been, I think someone, it's Santa's, it? I think Santa's, Santa's been, Santa's been kidnapped, I, I think is the, the general gist of it. Well, I'll be interested to see. Oh no. What happens. I just, I just yeah. realized, didn't they do that as a, as a, as for an episode of the Big Bang Theory? They played, they played an episode of D and D, and 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 Santa had been had been kidnapped. Oh yeah. dear, what have we done? <laughs> It'll be fine. No, I'm, I'm I am super looking forward to it. It should be interesting. Although I wonder if Krampus will just be the bad guy. Ooh, I wonder if Krampus is I a staff. I bet he does. Someone 
they, they'll be a, a homebrew crappers. Oh, so I mean, Thanksgiving wasn't too long ago, and I've I've already seen someone posting up the stats for like a like a hydra turkey. Oh yeah, but uh, okay, wait. Is that there's the there's the, the the false hydra or the like the goose the goose hydra, which is just the I don't know, funniest I, I, thing. I, I think I've seen a few different versions. There was oh no, I saw one that was like a turkey bear. I've seen that as well. Have you not seen that one, the turkey bear? No, I know you'll have yeah. to send that to me at some point. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll, in a I'll have to scroll through one of the many Facebook groups and <laughs> see, see if I can find it. I mean, it was a couple of weeks ago now, so it's probably like you know buried under a thousand posts. I'll I'll Google it later. That'll be much quicker. No, mm. yeah, yeah, but do yeah, turkey bear. It looks it looks, but well, the artwork's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's just this hench turkey. It's just like ah oh, right. I think this. I think the background of was something like. There were there was like a group of wizards or something that were trying to increase the the size of the turkeys, like you know, so there'd be more to feed, uh, and they messed up or something. And this thing just basically looks like it's on steroids. Not working. I'm searching turkey bear, and it's just coming up with bears. That's basically, <laughs> it. have you tried turkey bear D and D? That's exactly what I searched. There turkey bear D and D. It's coming up with bears. It's a polar bear in there, and a tiny little bear and. I no, not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> what would you? Okay, so going back onto the one shot, mm -hmm. uh, on one shots in general. What do you think would you consider a red flag if you uh, if you were in you, know, you were in one you're in a, you're in the the one shot? What would probably be something that you would consider a bit of a red flag that made you think this is probably going to be the the sort of one for you? I think that's mass. I don't know. I think it it will depend heavily. I think on my mood because sometimes I'm I'm in the mood for one where you just, you know, taking the mic and having a bit of a joke and a laugh. But sometimes I'm like, I want this to be serious. I want to I want to get this story going and see what's happening. So I think it'll. I think the the party composition or the player composition can be really important, depending on what kind of campaign I'm well one shot I'm looking for so that's that's my big I think my, one of the things I see quite quickly is you know who am I playing with is this going to go well um and you know one on Sunday looks good so should be good but yeah no that's that's something I, I think I would look at first if I'm mm. gonna do that with someone Rumble? yeah no I'm trying to think um I think I, know, I think I know what the problem is. Is because you two are too nice, and like you, you, you wouldn't see the you can't you can't picture anyone doing a bad job at D and D, which is which is a nice trait. I'm I'm a pessimistic bastard, so I <laughs> I, I, I only ever see the negativity. No, I've seen one, one person in the first campaign I was ever in was a knob. <laughs> 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 Wasn't the DM which was good. They were, oh, they were a bit, they were all awful. <laughs> um, uh, no, but, um, I, if I was going, I would say, if I was going into a one-shot blind, so for, if anyone's listening, going in, and they are going into a one-shot blind, where they actually, like, they don't know the people, a red flag for me would be if you really don't, like, gel with the people you're playing with. Mm. So, you know, if... But then, then it, it, it then is it a conversation about who who like good and bad players? It, it, it takes the conversation in a different way. But for yeah, for me it's more the people make the game. So good people, good game. If you play yeah. with assholes, the good thing is about one shot is they're short, right? Like yeah. if it if it goes badly, you're not committed long term. So even if it is your worst experience ever, you know that in a few hours you'll be done and you can just kind of. Move on. That's true. Pretend it never happened. That's true. Um, I guess the way I'm looking at it is if you couldn't get access to many one shots. Mm. So, I think for me, my I think the red flag would be would be the DM. I think I could handle the players because I would just I w I would probably evolve my character. Like they wouldn't know much about my character at this point. So I'd hear I'd let them all talk first, see uh, see what they were playing. And then be like, right, okay, you're going to be trouble. You're going to be too quiet. 
I don't even know, want to know what you're thinking. <laughs> it's like, I've got it. I know what to do. Uh, but it'd be the DM. If the DM, like, I, I, you know, I'll give them some leeway if it's DM's, like, new and everything. But if if they're, I think it's, like, if they'd be boring. Like, if it's a one-shot, I want, you know, you're only doing it this, the once, you know, hence the one-shot. <laughs> so I'd want them to have a lot of energy for this, you know? Make it entertaining. They have to be a great storyteller. Don't get me wrong. I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting critical role. Right, before <laughs> anyone starts saying anything, no. <laughs> I'm not expecting that. I'm just expecting the fact that, well, I'm expecting. I'm hoping that within a one shot, that the person that is putting, you know, a, a bit of effort into it, you know, to at yeah. least make it entertaining. Is they just say, you sit in a tavern, okay? say no 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 but this isn't a campaign this is a one shot this is we're not going to spend four hours now sitting in this tavern like come on you know i know yeah, you, you want someone to push the story forward because yeah push that you, so long, you need to you need to push it forward mm. yeah exactly exactly as i said that would be that would be my reference. otherwise like i mean i'm all for it i'm all for one shots okay. I, I want to get as many i want to i want to play as many of those as i can we need more DMs in this group. I I was thinking like what would be cool is if um if I ever start trying to DM and I, I said I've, I've mentioned recently about maybe doing campaign. I know Rumpel's planning on doing a campaign. Like we could like break it up. Like do a couple of sessions of the campaign and someone in the group does a one shot and then another couple of sessions in the campaign someone does a one shot. Give a DM time to like relax but also time to write and but also means other people get to dm and the dm doesn't have to dm every single time so i think that could be a cool little system if i ever start dming again try to get that into a sort of rotation i would like that yeah. i tell you i tell you it'd be awesome if we could get some of uh, some of the 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 players of of uh, role for discussion if we could get like a little one shot organized now and then between us you know i'd love that that'd be very cool Mm -hmm. Viewers, Definitely. what do you what do you think? Viewers, <laughs> actually, go on. Let's have a let's have a call. What would you what do you think of the idea if we did that? What would you also think of the idea is if we did that as a session? That's not well, something like I have. Yeah, like a recording for it. I don't know how it would work because it'd be it'd be quite a lot of recording. So I don't know how many people would actually be interested in that sort of thing. And then the rest of the group might just be like, uh, no, I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be doing a one shot on. Uh, on YouTube or Spotify or Rumble, wherever it is. But I don't know if it doesn't if it doesn't work that way. I'd still be quite happy just like with the with a bunch of us. Like at some point we get like a like a little one shot going now and then. I think it'd be quite good. Yeah, yeah. We could sort of again like we do the rotation. So if there's people again within our group who haven't got that much experience, we want to try it out. You know, we can you know just help get a bit of um, uh, constructive criticism. You know, obviously, we show a lot of patience and stuff uh, with that sort of thing, and just you know, help sort of help each other, sort of build on their um, uh, experiences, as it. Yeah, yeah, no, one hundred percent. To be fair, a lot of those ones that are, are out there, like the like your critical roles and your VL, DLD and these and all that, you watching professionals DMs do it. Oh yeah. Very. You don't often see the new guys that you can more relate to you know you if you're watching them you're like oh i want to start doing that you're never going to be there straight away so how do you bridge the gap well we could try we, and we are the gap <laughs> we will be the gap <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah no, there's someone sitting on the other and he's like right these guys have been shit talking all sorts of people now let's see uh, put your money where your, where your dice are yeah Go on, yeah. let's, go, oh, let's go. I totally thought you were going to say a different word for a second then. <laughs> I think I Put caught your myself. money where you oh, nah, I caught, I caught <laughs> myself at the last second. This That's has the not word. been strictly PG, this recording. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to put a few bleeps in. Do it. <laughs> I I think you should just put bleeps in random places and see what the sentence sounds like. I think that's my favorite. Oh, don't I? Some of my I favorite videos of people doing that. Just like, haha, let's take oh, this random film. It was horrific. It was brilliant. But oh, God, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Uh, guys, you got. Um, we'll wrap this up uh, fairly soon. So, is, uh, is there anything else you want to throw in? I mean, like again, there's. I've just sort of gone a bit all over the place with uh, with this one. This is air. I think we're going to be at the time of this recording. We're right at the beginning of December, so this will probably be coming out around about Christmas time. So, if you anyone out there, you're watching this, I can only imagine that you're sitting there with your lonely cup of eggnog right now. So uh, this this is all for you. This is all for you, <laughs> Bob. Don't out Bob like that. I'm sorry. Merry Bob. Christmas, Bob. Bob works hard. <laughs> Running his store. We're gonna we're gonna get some com. This is gonna be it. We're gonna have one person comment, and it's gonna be some random dude called Bob who likes eggnog and runs a store. Damn right. <laughs> I think I would make my I think I would make my day if if you exist out there, Bob. I want you to make a guest guest appearance on this uh, on the show. That's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Doesn't even play D and D. We just we just want a guest appearance. He just he just randomly found this one. It's like this isn't this isn't the Pottery Channel. <laughs> oh, Bob. Definitely, definitely goes to the dog racing. <laughs> This is an Indian dubstep. What? The <laughs> heck? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I've had a few drinks tonight. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look, Chad Stick's not here. I've got to find other ways to look to see how I can get cancelled. Yeah, it's Oh dear. <laughs> he's he's going to be so mad if we get cancelled when he's not here. He's going to be so upset. <laughs> taking that title from him. <laughs> oh. Well then, uh, I think then what we'll do is we'll wrap it up there. Uh, thank you very much, Peter and Rumble, for... I called you Rumble, didn't I? Rumble, Rumble. let's get ready to rum. Um, yeah. Not Thank you very much, Peter and <laughs> Rumpel, for joining me on this really bizarre special. Well, I say special. It's not really special, is it? It's just always special. It's it's it's, 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 it's special. like Die Hard in the sense that it's made around Christmas, but it's not a Christmas special. It's that's that's Christmas. the next. That's probably going to be. Session. A, that's probably you know what's going to get me cancelled. I'll probably just I'll probably really angered a lot of Die Hard fans out there. It's like, what do you mean it's not a Christmas movie? Mm -hmm. Don't anger those Die Hard Die Hard fans. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, guys, uh, for taking part in this one. Uh, viewers, thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you did enjoy this content or you're, you've somehow tolerated and you've stayed around until the very end, please leave us uh, a like, you know, hit that subscribe button, maybe hit that notification bell if you, if you want to be tortured a little bit more. Uh, and leave a comment down below. You know, every, every comment is uh, another piece of, uh, of my soul. I can, I can get. It's great because being ginger, we don't have any. <laughs> Everybody, thank you very much. Have a lovely Christmas, and we will see you all in the new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs>